Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company. I'm gonna show you how to change the cabin air filter on these fifth generation 4Runners. Something you can do yourself. It's really easy. Don't even have to waste your time or money with the dealership doing it. it takes just a couple minutes. Let me show you. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to order one of these. I got mine off Amazon. I'll put a link for the, um, the actual filter that fits these fifth generation ones in the description. And I'll also put one right here on top of the video. First thing you wanna do is empty out your glove box and you're gonna have that panel right there in the back. You push down on these two tabs like that, both sides and it comes right out. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this panel right here. There's these little tabs on the side that you push in and then you push in and this comes right out. And behind that is your cabin air filter. Notice that it has the arrow pointing up. And you can also see on that cover that you just removed, there's a little arrow and up on it as well, and just lets you know which way this goes on. Then you're just gonna wanna pull out the old air filter, and this is where you're gonna wanna be a little bit careful because there will be some dirt and debris on top of it most likely, and you just don't want that to spill all over your vehicle while you're pulling it out. Next thing to do is to remove that brand new air filter that you probably got off that link in my description. Then you're just gonna slide that thing right back in and you see it has a foam on the front for the airtight seal, has the arrows telling you which direction the airflow goes, and it's just that simple. Last thing, put that cover back on with the arrow facing up and it clicks right back in. Then all you have to do is put that black cover on it to cover it up in the glove box and you are done. Save yourself some time and some money. And in case you guys are interested, I have videos on my YouTube channel about these LED lights that I installed in the grill. I have another video about the build that we did when we put on these brand new wheels, tires, what kind of offset and suspension that we put on there to make it work. Make sure you check that out. And that's just how easy it is, guys. It just takes a couple minutes. Um, it's pretty simple. Again, I put a link for um, the air filter and everything in the description. And make sure you check out this video at the end here that shows you everything about what I did to this 4Runner with the lift and the lights. It's all on my channel. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next build.